Hello there, welcome, Mubina here. Today, I want to talk about beliefs. Now, we are a few days into the second quarter, okay? And what I did over the weekend is I did a little bit of reflecting, self-reflecting. I uh, took some paper and a pen. This is, what, this is one of the things that Bob Proctor, my mentor, um, God bless him, he passed on uh, a little over a year ago, but he's definitely here with me in spirit. He's always with me in spirit. And so one of the things Bob always used to say is get a sheet of paper and a pen and write, write down your goal, write down, you know, what you want in life and just write because writing helps you think it, it gives you perspective. It puts everything out in front of you. So when I was reflecting, I looked at the goals that I had set for myself at the start of the year. And then I looked at where I'm at today. So what did I achieve in the first three months? What do I want to achieve in the next three months? And what's the gap? Okay. So where am I? Where am I going? Those are two important questions to ask yourself. So as I was doing that, I pulled out the participant guide to his program, Thinking Into Results, um, a phenomenal program. It takes six months to go through it. It's a program that I use with my clients and they love it. They've had amazing um, results as a part of going through it. And so I go through this program for myself, you know, over and over again. And so I decided as I was going through it on the weekend, I thought I'm going to do something different with my YouTube videos. I am going to, for each lesson, so there's 12 lessons in this program. So for each lesson, I'm going to go and I'm just going to share one or two ideas per lesson with you to just get you to start doing some thinking, to get you to implement some ideas and support you in propelling you forward. Because I know for me, it's really had a profound impact. And again, don't make this watching these videos is just gathering more information because I did that for years and it didn't change anything. And it was when I started taking what I was watching or reading and I was taking it and I was actually actioning it. I was embodying it, okay? So <clears throat> today in this lesson, I want to talk about beliefs, okay? And beliefs are very, very critical to whether you're moving forward or you're staying stuck. And in some instances, even going backwards, okay? The most important belief, in my opinion, that you're ever going to have is believing in yourself. Betting on you, okay? And... A little under 10 years ago, I did bet on myself. So I had, well, I have not had, I have 20 plus corporate years of experience. And when I had my life altering, well, I've had multiple life altering situations, but the one that I had 10 years ago was when I became a single mom. So I have an amazing 14 year old son. He is um, a very important part of my life. He inspires and motivates me all the time to be better and better because I know when I'm working on me and I'm getting better, then I can be a better mom. And so I'm grateful for him being in my life. I'm grateful for the experience of motherhood. And I'm grateful to him because he's taught me so much. And I know he's going to continue to teach me a lot. Anyhow, coming back to beliefs. So when it comes to beliefs, so 10 years ago, or a little less than 10 years ago, I bet on myself and I left the corporate world because while I was in the corporate world, there was always something inside of me saying, no, there's a bigger purpose for you. There's, there's more you can do. You can impact more people. So at that point, I left the corporate world because I was going through a lot of change in my life. And so I decided to get into coaching. And so now I 
I see myself as a coach, but also as a mentor, somebody who can really support people, um, you know, show people things that they may not be aware of themselves and just help them create the life they want, help them achieve the goals they want, okay? And so part of this whole process was I had to examine my beliefs. I had to examine what, what beliefs I was holding on to. Were they serving me? Where did they come from? Um, do I need to change any of them? Do Are they aligned with where I'm going, where I want to go? Um, and then the ones that weren't serving me, was I ready to let them go? How do I change them? There were so many things, right, that I had to evaluate. And so as I was going through this process, it was quite interesting because I learned that many of my beliefs came from my childhood. And a lot of them that surfaced when I was going through this process over the last few years, and some of them still come back, but I'm able to recognize it a lot quicker and then I'm able to switch it but it's all about the inner work and it's all about the mindset work and you've probably heard this but 95 percent of our being some say even more is all through the mind mindset only five percent or less is strategy the rest is all the mind work so you gotta see everything in your mind first before you can actually see it in your physical world and so beliefs are huge because in this participant guide, in lesson one, and lesson one is a worthy ideal, right? Setting and achieving worthy goals. And so Earl Nightingale, who was Bob Proctor's mentor, he his definition of success was success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. And if you look at that definition, every day, there is something you could be doing that is moving you towards your goal. And that makes you successful. Okay. Provided you're doing the action. Okay. Because without action, you don't get anything. You're just gathering information and knowledge. So when it comes to beliefs, so from the participant guide, it's very powerful. There is no growth beyond the beliefs that are held. If a person attempts to accomplish something beyond their level of belief, the mind will quickly and automatically create ideas or reasons justifying why it can't be done. And those ideas will continue to flow until the project is abandoned. When I first saw this, it really like, hit me. And I'm like, wow, this is so profound. And I could relate to this as I reflect over the years of my life, the decades of my life, because there were times in my life where this happened because my beliefs were deep rooted in my subconscious mind. And I wasn't aware of them and they were holding me back. And in some instances, they were moving me backwards. And it's only when I began to study me, it's only when I took this program, okay, I studied each lesson, but then I applied each lesson to me and my life, to where I was and where I wanted to go. And then a lot of things, the potential within me started to come to the surface. The uniqueness of me started to become, I started to become aware of it. And it led me to three, well, there's a lot of beliefs that I, I have, everybody has, right? But it really helped me expand my awareness to three beliefs that were deep-rooted within me. And they were doing this to me. They were preventing me from moving forward and they were preventing me to get to my goal. And so one of them is... I'm not worthy. 
I have felt many a times in my life, in different stages of my life, I'm not worthy. And I know where it stemmed from. It stemmed from a trauma, a, a trauma that I experienced at 18 months old. I was born in Tanzania and I went to a neighboring country, the Republic of Congo or Zaire. And there was a cholera outbreak. And so at that time, the vaccine was an injection. And so everybody was given a cholera vaccine. So I took one, I got one too. And so I had a reaction to it. You know why it happened? I don't know. And I'll never know. And it doesn't matter. Um, it happened. And then after seven to 10 days, so I had a high fever seizures after seven to 10 days and a couple of exploratory surgeries in my abdomen, things settled, but I was no longer able to walk. And so I now utilize a wheelchair to move around. I've been very great, blessed, and I'm very grateful for my life because I've accomplished a lot. However, that trauma, and at that age, my subconscious mind was wide open. I ended up having a deep rooted belief, I'm not worthy. So whatever goodness was coming into my life, I was repelling it because I felt I wasn't worthy of receiving it. So I did an exercise once I became aware of that, where I wrote out my limiting beliefs, and that was one of the top ones. I assessed the accuracy of it. Is it true? And then I switched it. And I wrote a powerful affirmation around it. So I said, I am worthy. I am worthy of receiving all the good that comes to me. And I kept affirming that over and over again, and I still do it. Because it's a very important part of being able to create, of being able to get the things that I want, of being able to expand and grow. Okay? Another limiting belief that, again, stemmed from that trauma at 18 months old for me was, I am not good enough. And so what happened is when I had that trauma and I was no longer able to walk. So I did walk because I was 18 months old. So I already started walking. But the fact that I was no longer walking, somehow in my subconscious mind, I started believing I am not good enough because everybody around me was walking. And so I would see people walk and I wouldn't be able to walk. So I would automatically start thinking I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. And that became another pattern deep rooted in me, another belief. And beliefs are literally just thoughts that you have over and over again. Okay. And so that belief also held me back in different stages in my life. I had to switch it. Now I tell myself, I am enough. I am enough now. And I did that years ago and I keep doing that. That's how I switched it. Okay. And another belief was I don't have enough experience. That belief resulted from just over the years. And it happened because the first two beliefs that became deep rooted from when I was in my trauma and 18 months old, they were all lack and limitation beliefs. And so this belief, I don't have enough experience, just piggybacked off the other ones. And this one, I don't have enough experience, was very, very critical in when I first started in my career in the corporate world, okay? But then it also became very dominant when I switched from the corporate world to becoming an entrepreneur. And I used to always say, who am I to do this work? Who am I to help change lives? Who am I to impact people? Who am I to inspire people? Those are the questions that kept going through my mind. Okay. So these beliefs that I just talked about, they're limiting beliefs for me. What is a limiting belief? A limiting belief is a thought that you think 
is the absolute truth. And it stops you from doing certain things. Okay? It's a judgment about yourself that you think to be true that restricts you in some way. And so I was judging myself constantly. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. I don't have enough experience. I had 20 plus, I have 20 plus years of corporate experience. When I started this coaching, I had 40 plus years of life experience. And life and experience teaches you a lot. However, because of my uh, limiting beliefs of I'm not worthy or I am not good enough, they just compounded. And then other limiting beliefs started getting created. Now, what I encourage you to do, these are just some limiting beliefs that I've had over the years that I've worked on myself. But what I want you to do, and I encourage you to do this exercise, okay? Take a sheet of paper. Just sit for a few minutes and write out what you believe, okay? What are the beliefs that you have? What are the thoughts that you keep thinking over and over again? Because that's how beliefs get created. Okay, where did these beliefs come from? And you may have to go back to your childhood like I did. And that's okay. Just, you want to just understand what these beliefs are. But then you want to start to categorize them, write them down. Okay, that's why the sheet of paper is there, write them down. You categorize them and you start to understand, is this belief working for me now? Is it serving me? Is it propelling me forward in life? The minute you say no to any of those questions, ditch them, toss them, shred it, burn it, and replace it with a belief that's going to serve you, with a belief that's going to align you with what you want, with a belief that's going to move you towards your goal. Okay? Because beliefs can be changed. It's mindset work. It's inner work. Okay? I've done it. You can do it. And I encourage you to do it because you are going to start to feel different when you are aware of the be limiting beliefs and you let them go. And when you start to put in beliefs that are supporting you, beliefs that are moving you forward in life. Okay. And so it's a, <coughs> sorry, it's a three-step exercise. Okay. Write out your limiting beliefs. Okay. Assess the accuracy of them. Assess whether they're serving you. Okay, and then the ones that are not serving you, replace it and put in a belief by writing a present tense affirmation, I am or I have. That's how you write the present tense affirmation. Okay, don't use the words I will. Okay, I will means future tense and it means you'll never do it. So I am or I have, write it out. And then you want to repeat that thought or repeat that affirmation over and over again. And an affirmation is literally simply just a thought or something you're saying to yourself, an auto-suggestion, okay? And you want to repeat it over and over again so that it replaces the limiting belief that you're trying, that you're um, looking to change, okay? So hmm, this is what I would say that um, beliefs are very, very important. And I would really, really suggest that you take some time over the next few days to do this exercise. OK, um, a very common belief is I'm not ready. OK, but you know what? All you have is now. You have now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow hasn't come. You have now. So take the time now. There's no better time than now. Yeah. Another thing Bob Proctor taught. OK, and so I highly encourage you to take a few minutes to do this exercise and you'll see how powerful it can be for you and your life. OK, remember, you are always going to be with you no matter what. People will come and go in your life. Situations and circumstances will come and go. But you will always be with you. So take the time to get to know you. Take the time to get to know your beliefs. OK, trust me, you will be so happy when you do this exercise. You will start to get to know you and you will start to be able to expand. You will start to be able to shift. Okay. And if you have questions around this exercise, 
feel free to reach out to me. If you look down at the uh, description, you will see how you can contact me. Reach out to me. I want to help you. I want to help you in any way I can. And if I can help you uncover some of your limiting beliefs, it would be my pleasure to do that with you. I will see you next time on another video. Bye for now.